have taken the time to review the evidence submitted and I am ready to give my ruling, ma'am. You have submitted multiple voice recordings and written correspondence which explicitly show how Mr. Blah and continues to make threats towards your safety. However, I have also seen the evidence Mr. Blank has shown which makes it very clear that despite the consistent threats and the apparent pew-pew that was pulled on you, that you continue to initiate contact with him are blank. However, I will be granting a two-year extension for the protection order. I will also be adding the minor child of Ms. Blank to the protection order. This order also specifies that there is to be no contact initiated by either party. Either party is able to petition for an extension at the end of the order. Court is now dismissed. So you could attend my hearing to watch it like I'm on Judge Judy, but not to help me keep son safe. What kind of bullshit is that? And who did you have with you? I invited the gal to attend as well to ensure that we all had the most up-to-date information on how to keep son safe. What is wrong with you? This case is about me being in danger and stalked by Brian, not about our custody case. You added our son to a protection order after telling me for the last year that he was in no danger, and you testified in court that Brian pulled a weapon on you in front of son. Pointed at me, not son, I was simply be overly cautious by adding son, you caused so much drama, Travis saw you there and broke up with me, son and I are heartbroken. I don't think he broke up with you because I was at court. Maybe it was the evidence of you cheating on him that was presented. No, it's because of you. Hey, big guy, are you so excited for summer camp? You're going to have so much fun. No, I'm not. It's whatever. What's wrong? You seem upset. You were pumped when I saw you last week. Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. If something happened over the weekend at mom's, you know you can talk to me, right? I'm here for you. Or you can talk to the therapist about whatever it is. No, I said I don't want to talk about it. Nothing happened. Just leave me alone. Okay, okay. I'm not trying to force you or anything. I just want to make sure you're okay. Mom told me that Travis moved out. Is that why you're sad? What are you talking about? He didn't move out. He was just gone for one night after they got in a fight. I wish he would move out though. I hate him. Hi Marcus. This is the summer camp calling. We unfortunately are going to have to ask you to come pick Sun up. I am sorry, but he is not going to be able to continue at our camp this year. Did something else happen? I know we spoke earlier this week about his language choices and his attempted elopement. Did something else happen? Unfortunately, yes. There is another camper here, a little girl, that Sun seemed to really take to. There was an incident today where she refused to be his partner for an activity. And he became enraged. He called her a dumb ugly bish and told her he was sick of her sheet. Before an adult could make it to them, he ended up slapping her across the face. It left a mark. Oh my God, I'm in the car now and on my way. Please give the little girl's parents my contact information and let them know if there is anything I can do to make up for this to let me know. Son, what is going on? You've been doing great. And then this week, it's like you completely forgot all the progress you've made. I didn't do anything. They're lying because they want me to get in trouble. No, don't lie to me. They showed me two footage. There is no excuse for you to do that. Why would you ever even think that was acceptable? Why are you so mad? I wanted her to be my girlfriend and that's what grown-ups do when they fight. Oh no, they do not. Have you ever seen me put my hands on Mia like that? No, but you guys don't fight. We do. Everyone has arguments sometimes. But we love each other and we talk through our problems. Well, that's what Travis does with mommy when they fight. And they love each other too. That's not okay. No one should ever do that. Well, mom said it was okay that Travis... I just got off the phone with the summer cap. How's son doing? 
He's okay. He knows he majorly messed up. This isn't good, Valerie. Her parents could choose to press charges over something like this. Oh, come on. He's a kid. Kids do stupid things all of the time. Honestly, I blame the counselors for knowing how he was and not keeping a closer eye on him. They should have prevented this. I've scheduled a mental health evaluation for him. He's going to be screened to see if anything else is going on. This is getting out of hand. He's a child with ad. He probably just was imitating something he saw on TV. Stop overanalyzing everything. He specifically said it was something he's seen Travis do to you. If that's the truth, this is not the first time he's been exposed to violence in your home. What is going on? He's clearly lying. Is son in his room still? Yeah, why? I think we need to call for a welfare check on Valerie and Travis. I'm worried. What are you talking about? Look, Travis posted this on his Facebook a few minutes ago. I'm not the only person who thinks so. People are blowing up his comments. Asterisk shows Travis's Facebook post. Just hope my kids know I love them and I'm sorry for everything. Linked with this song stand by Eminem Asterisk. Have you ever heard that song? It's all about a guy going crazy and un -a living his wife, child and then himself. That's really concerning. Yeah, you're right. I'll call. I'd rather us be wrong versus not call and have him end up in a living son's mother. Some people in the comments have said that they were going to call as well. Hello? Hey, so I need to update you on what's happening over here. So you know how Travis has been a wonderful man and I've never had a problem with him or with violence involving him. Well, things have changed and I now have an order of protection against him. He is not to come to the house. Son isn't included in this because he wasn't there when the incident occurred. But Travis is not to come to the house or around him either, obviously. Well, today we were driving on the highway and we were talking about how his kids have been extremely disrespectful towards me. And he ended up slamming on the brakes and trying to shove me out of his truck on the bypass. Then I tell him to take me home and he can leave if he's so upset. I was very calm. And when we got to the house, I asked him why he did that. Because he could have unalived us. I was so calm. He grabbed his pew pew out of the truck and said he could unalive. So I was like, holy shit. He's never been like this before. He must really be in a bad headspace because of his kids. And he just lost his father too. Which you know how hard that is. But it was just too much, so I told him he had to leave, and he did, but he apparently got really wasted and took some pills and posted a bunch of terrible things online. Is he okay? Oh yeah, he's okay, but the police found him and took him to the hospital because they think he wants to unalive himself. And to protect myself and son, I got a protection order against him. I can't have that around my child. I'm just so grateful son wasn't here to experience it. He looks up to Travis so much. It would have hurt him to see Travis that poorly. At least I can talk to him about it appropriately. I hate that his kids have hurt him this badly that they... So what is the plan to ensure he doesn't try to come back around? Is this a permanent protection order or do you have to go to court like you did with Brian? It's temporary. And I definitely plan to have it extended in court next week. I'm just still in a place of disbelief. I never thought this man would do something. And I mean, he didn't actually hurt me or shoot me, but I have to take it seriously. When is court? I would like to be kept updated on this since son is in your care half of the time. I will keep you updated, of course. We need to be a team to keep son safe. That is my biggest priority. It breaks my heart to do this because I really thought Travis was the one for me. But if he loses his cold like that, I just can't have him around son. He's such a good man, but I just can no longer trust him. It's I'm glad that you decided to schedule another appointment so we could talk. Is mom joining us today? No, it is just us and son today. 
I know we spoke briefly about the possibility of getting Sun a more extensive evaluation the last time we met. But I honestly believe it needs to be done, as soon as possible. There hasn't been much improvement since he began his medication. He's attending therapy regularly as well, and it doesn't seem to be helping much after the last incident at summer camp. We can't overlook the possibility anymore. I agree with you. After reading over your weekly updates and hearing about his actions at school and camp, I do think it's time to send him for a more extensive evaluation. I will put in a referral, and they will contact you to schedule your appointment. Thank you for taking this seriously. Before we exchange son today, I need to know that he is going to be safe and Travis or Brian will not be in your house for the next week. Of course he will be. That's the whole reason I got the protection order against them both. I do everything to keep son safe. You can see why I'm concerned about this, as you've had a pal against Brian for years and still see him on and off for the last four years. Well, I don't see him anymore. There is no communication between the two of us. That's not true. Just in the last few hours, you liked multiple reels on his Facebook page. Okay, so that's not contact. No words were exchanged. I'm sorry, Valerie, but that is some of the stupidest shit I've ever heard you say. You know for a fact that by doing that, you're going to get him to come sniffing around again. It's not a crime to like a video, Marcus. Once again, you are reading too much into this. I'm allowed to like his videos. I just can't talk to him. Well, then answer me this. How many more times is this going to happen? How many more times will police need to be called due to violence in your home? How many more men are you going to have around son that you end up getting a protection order on? Would you rather me not call the police? They are called to protect me. I can't predict the future. No, but you can take longer than a few days before you move men into your home that my child lives in, and once you have an incident, you can stay away from them. You could actually put son first for once. I have always put son first. This is rich coming from you. You're the one who abandoned us when you left us. If you never did that, son would have never seen any of this. I would have never been with these men.